Operation Mercury confirmed. Some time ago, we got confirmation that the invasion of Crete will be coming to Battlefield 5. The history is written by the victor is always something that you used to say and is something that you normally say. Perhaps this didn't have much room to be put into some history book. However, even if the German effort was one of the biggest airborne invasions at the time, it was also one of the costliest. It would, in the end, cancel all future airborne drops from the German High Command and reduce its paratroopers to ordinary troop movement instead of airborne drops. Dropping airborne troops overall at that time was a brand new concept and not at all something that all the armies had. In the beloved series of Band of Brothers, we noticed the fact that Easy Company is seen starting the training in 1942. And that was because the American army saw paratroopers only to be an experiment at first, but later, one of the most important fractions within the US army that still is today. But it wasn't a reliable method of conducting an invasion. It was kind of an experiment. The Germans were ahead of everybody, and even by 1941 it would show that the Germans still had an advantage against the Allies in Europe who found themselves on constant retreat after engaging German forces wherever they went. After the fall of Greece in April 1941, the movement of the German army was originally focused on getting the invasion of the Soviet Union in order, due to wanting to capture Moscow before the winter settled in October. But delays were to come, and the invasion of Crete is written as one of the reasons to it. During the 10 days of fighting between May 20th and June 1st, the defensive forces proved themselves very brave and smart in the way of holding off the Germans. Proven that they wouldn't be able to hold for long due to shortage of materials and weapons, together with the constant bombardment from the Luftwaffe, evacuations were to be put into plan. Around 21,000 soldiers were able to be evacuated in the end and falling back to Egypt. However, both sides would have terrible losses in the end. The Germans alone lost around 6,000, but with indications that they could have been up to 16,000, but changed due to propaganda reasons. In terms of planes, they lost over 280 out of 500 transport planes, and almost all of the transport fleet used on Crete was decimated. The Allies lost over 23,000 in dead, wounded, and or captured, with around 21,000 evacuated from the island. Now, how is this going to look in Battlefield 5? This is just pure speculation, and I imagine that we possibly, but not confirmed, get two maps, like the two map parts we have during the Grand Operation in Norway. It's self-implied that the Airborne will be a part of the creep map or maps, since it is the whole thing when going into the historical point of view. I hope to see something that lets us be more creative in the way that we can be a bit of a half-sized map with the structure of aerodrome, which give us a place to operate as a sniper, the intensity of close quarter fighting as an assault and medic, and longer range positions to defend as a support trooper, building up fortifications that really has an impact to the game. Now how the map would look, it's very hard to say. We simply don't have, or possibly only have, one concept art picture that would depict this Crete map. And at the same time, this picture can easily be taken for being a part of Hamada. But I suspect something in style with the old Acropolis as the idea giver, old structures of an ancient Greece. But I hope that the developers take into the fact that this is an ancient Greece we're talking about. This is ancient Crete, whom was a different society than the Greeks, looking back into how Greek history looks like. One must not forget that Greece was not a united country until 1832. It is a very young country with different parts of different societies and culture. Overall. This could be interesting, but I'm a little bit sad that we only get one more piece in the big puzzle. If made really good, we will see Greek troops making entry to Battlefield for the first time in their history of gaming. But I am not positive about that and it's just pure speculation. It would, however, be a very cool thing to make and something to honor those Greeks who actually stood up fighting against the Germans during this time. 
I do not think that it will happen though. And I'm a bit sad that we have to wait so long for this map to come. Hopefully it will be worth the while. This map will be released with a chapter 3 of Tides of War sometime in, I think, March. But at the moment, nothing is official when it comes out. But it is official that we're going to get a Battle of Crete. Did you like this video? Share it with your friends and foes. Anybody who you think would enjoy this video. I thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below. What do you think about this? Do you want to see a map of Crete? How do you want it to be? And what are your thoughts? And until next time, I'll see ya.